Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Gaming Night. Tonight we're going to be talking about and reviewing Escape the Room Mystery at the Stargazer Manor. Uh, it's a game for three to eight players. Um, it's a one and done scenario per se. You can only play it one time with your group, but you could it's you can reassemble everything and host it with another group or gift it to a friend that you that likes to solve puzzle games. <clears> their <throat> family and stuff. So, anyways, the age group is from 10 up and older, 10 and older, which is a pretty good uh, age range for this game. Um, the you have a roughly 90 minutes, which is an hour and a half. It could take a little longer than that, depending on um, how many players you have in your group. Uh, the sweet spot is somewhere around four. You can have three. I'd say three is the lowest you can have in it. I wouldn't go more than five though uh, because the way these this game works is everything is um, you're taking everything apart but you're only working on one particular puzzle at a time so with too many players uh, they're not going to be able to do anything but maybe you know help you like maybe verbally give you help each other out uh, <clears throat> and stuff like that or words of encouragement or maybe talk about ideas. Now. I can't really spoil everything in this box because it's, it's uh, once you've figured out how the game work is, the game is, it's over with. But you're going to get um, this little scene card that you're going to read. But before you do all that, you're going to read the instruction manual here, which gives you a little background for the host, the rules, and you know ways you can cheat, which you're not supposed to cheat. Um, and like it says, for three to five players, you get two hours. With five, six to eight players, is one and a half, one and a half hours. That's why you really don't want to play it with more players because it's really not, they're going to be standing around doing nothing. And if those you have too many players, you're not going to have enough <clears throat> time to do something because the two hours is pretty close to what you're going to get. Um, depending on how you think, because you really got to think outside the box. There are some red herrings in this game. Um, and you have some multiple paths, so you could, um, different things will happen. Like if you do this, they'll tell you to open this envelope or do this and that. But in the beginning of the game, you're going to get directions on where you start. And then you have a little <clears throat> thing I'll explain in a second. So you have these envelopes here. You have the, you start out with the, the dressing room. Uh, oh, out in the front of you, you have the filing cabinet, the bookcase, the telescope, and then you have the, the door. And these are all sealed envelopes, and there's more than stuff in them other than just the So you might open up one and uh, find more stuff. So what makes this game really cool, the fact you don't need to um, <clears throat> like get stuck permanently in a, a so there's a thing called the solution wheel here which is a great idea because on some puzzles you won't know if you have the, um, the answer and you can't ask the person that's um, because you're basically playing it by yourself. So this basically takes the the um, the hot and cold of the you know like if you're in a real escape room the guys gonna say you're close to it or you're not this will tell you if you're right so the way this works is you'll have these little symbols on each of these envelopes and other things in the game and what you'll do is let's so this symbol is the shows a little dresser symbol there and you'll find that symbol which is right here and then everything is color coded so if you have the red switch here it's got that uh, the moon waning a uh, moon symbol you might use that you might use a black dot so if it's yellow you think yellow is the black dot you move the yellow over to the black dot um, you might think it's the the Green one might be these three rings here. So you go, okay, you go to these three rings. 
and then you might think it's the three dots. So what will happen is in these things you'll either see one to two or more of the, of the symbol that you're trying to match. So if you see at least one of these little symbols that means you got this right solution or one of the solutions to be able to open the said envelope. So once you open this envelope it's going to have a whole bunch of contents that will be used either in the puzzle you're going to be currently working on or maybe a future puzzle. And you can't you can't disregard any of the, um, the items you got. There are some, like I said, there's some red herrings in there that make you think you're going to use them, but you don't. So with that being in mind, that's what you're getting. <clears throat> you uh, it does not provide you with pencils if you or pens or any paper to write your notes, and it does not provide a timer. So you have to provide a timer. Uh, so if you like puzzle games that um, are kind of thinking, make you think. Um, it's definitely uh, worth it. Um, it's not that badly priced. It's like maybe 19 bucks, 20 bucks, but the price you'd spend, you get a few of your friends together, five bucks a piece. That's about a price of going to see a movie these days. So it's definitely worth it. And it's roughly, we had maybe 50 seconds left to um, solve this, and uh, we got it got down the wire and. Like I said, you can use the lifelines on the web page. The way we played, we soon we had three lifelines. We were able to use the website, which would be asking some the host if to, if you're on the right track, whatever. And we ended up having to use it twice out of the three times that we allowed ourselves. And as a family, you could give yourself more lenience in using the website. But like I said, they go from everything to just a, a simple clue to actually giving you a solution. Um, so be wary, and when you look at the website, it's literally could give you a solution and kind of ruin the experience for you. I kind of think that, you know, you should be able to try to solve it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so this is a good example of uh, the, giving you the feel of going to an actual escape room, but in the confines of your own ho home for those that don't want to go out. This is like more of a family experienced one. There's another one that I Kickstarter called the Escape Room in a Box, the Werewolf Experiment. And that's going to be a little bit more harder. And but the thing about that one is you can get bigger groups, and and that one was gonna be have like individual puzzles that everyone can work on. This one you basically get one puzzle at a time and you try to solve it, and then you go to the next one you work together to solve it, and then at the end you take everything you have and use all that information to hopefully solve the final puzzles and get out. So um, I definitely think the age range is right about this one, ten years old. Um, now, if you, like I said, if you don't have to have reading ability, if you if uh, if, there, if you have younger ones that can't read, you could probably go out with it because there's nothing really inappropriate in here. It's just this is stuff that, um, like thinking outside the box uh, is required. Maybe solving some lateral puzzles. Some um, uh, I think there's uh, they call those things pattern recognition. Um, trying to think what those kind of puzzles are um spatial puzzles is what i'm thinking of there's like some spatial puzzles and um you can get you can even do basically go further than that make an evening out of it this is you could actually get dressed in the dress in a time area that's movie this uh this takes place what in 1869 so you can dress in the era clothes and have some good fun with that maybe make some food that would represent the era uh, you can role play. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do with this. Um, I'm definitely going to probably end up picking up the sequel when it comes out um, for this, and I and I'm definitely gonna re I got everything back, resealed back into original content, so I'm gonna let someone else play this. So, anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.